56, Mike, 56, right there, right there, 56. Get your swerve on! 56 to Mike, 56 is the Mike. Hey, pick up! Looking to throw on second down. Long, and that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however, and let's see what that's about. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Johnson. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now they try the right side here. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. A big play there for Detroit. 57 yards on the ground. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Well, big man with ball met bigger man on the other side of the line. A really nice play for the defense. Try to run this one in. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. A great play there. His 25th touchdown. Tying him at Smith for the fifth most in one season. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Hopkins with the extra point, And that will cut the lead to 17-7. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. On second down, Pollard. Juke into space. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Tony Pollard with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The Lions take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. He'll rifle this one deep right side, and that is incomplete. 
Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. Another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader and quarterbacks typically dominating the MVP balloting, but I think you got to give this guy serious consideration, don't you? I agree totally. I mean, he's leading the league in rushing and let's face it, partner, the running back renaissance in the NFL, it's real and it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. Got to give him strong consideration for MVP talk. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Third and medium, they opted to run instead of pass, and it worked, first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Throwing on first down. Law catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch though. On first and 10, Law going to throw deep for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with, some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting to 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Of course, they have the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. Ready, set. 54. Yep. Right there. 54, Mike. Man out, man out, man out, man out. Set, go. Back to throw now on first down, eluding the pressure right. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. From the 21, it's second and 10. On the carry, it's Cook. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Let's go, defense. Hey, man up, D. Man up, D. Check 26, check 26. Greystone travel. Greystone travel. Hey, scene six. Mike, 34. Blue there, blue there. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. Check, 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 check. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. He's coming. Check it. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Looking for Pettis, but that's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And he'll get this back 
to the 32-yard line. So the first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. 56 to Mike. 56 to Mike. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Jack. Jack. 56. Run it. Jack. Kill. 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 Try to try. 56 to Mike, boy. 56. Check. 56. Silver. Silver. On third and short, they try and pick it up through the air. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 11. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. The kick by Elliott is good. So how about the turn of events there at the end of the half? This is one where you go charging into your locker room, having collected three points you didn't expect to get, and you look across the field and you see guys kind of pointing fingers at each other like, dude, how'd you turn it over and make us give up three right there? The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee. And now look at him go. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. He's got it, and the score's now 27-14. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Let's go, fun. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Second and 10. On a heavy rush, and down he goes. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. <laughs> this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. 
Not at all what they envisioned on.